Wow, a little on edge? Sorry, Velma. Like we haven't eaten since the snack after lunchtime snack. Shaggy, Scooby, you guys are going to love me. The Keystone Castle International Food Festival. Food Festival? A castle? Sounds like it could be a fun type of vacation. It's beautiful. Look at the amazing scenery. And there's even an eating competition. Ooh. Scoop, this is like no time for sleeping, man. We've got to start clearing all these shelves. Why do that now? To make room for the trophies we're totally going to be bringing back. I'd really love to go, but I promised we'd help my cousin Anna win her school talent contest. We'll be there, Daph. I've heard St. Louis High has the biggest cafeteria in the state. The biggest? Yum. And cafeterias always have the best customers. Why like us? So as much as I'd like to see that castle, can Anna count on us? Totally. With Scoob and my sweet dance moves in her act, she'll get a first place trophy. Then we can go eat our way to ours. <laughs> Time. In the name? Stop, 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 stop! You sound like a mouse, Anna! You must project! And again. In the name of the gods! <laughs> Ms. Hilkin? Is that you? I hope? <laughs> I can't wait to see Anna. Thanks for helping her out, guys. No problem, Daphne. We're happy to help, right, Scoob? Scooby Dooby Doo! Okay, let's split up. We'll find Anna faster that way. Like, we'll search in this direction. Right, Scoob? <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna dance at Anna's contest, we need to find the cafeteria and fuel up. Scooby Dooby Doo. Like we copy, or whatever. Hi, boys. You need to find a way into the school. Anna should be inside somewhere. Like cool, man. Leave it to us, Velma. Yeah. <laughs> okay, keep me posted. Velma out. <laughs> Quiet sneaking around here. If a teacher finds us, we're like history, man.
that's worth like 500 Scooby Snacks. What are you doing back there? We're Shaggy and Scooby, uh, the garden inspectors. Shaggy and Scooby? I've heard of you. I'm Anna. Anna? Like Daphne's cousin? Yeah. We're here to, like, help you win your contest. And I'll need some real help. We haven't been able to finish a single dress rehearsal since the Phantom started haunting the theater. Zoinks! Like, did you say the Phantom? Phantom? Yeah, the Phantom of the High School Musical. He keeps terrorizing us whenever we're in the theater. Ms. Hilkin still isn't happy with our performance, and the contest is this weekend. Ms. Hilkin? The drama teacher. Okay, but first, like, if we're gonna go find the food... Oops, I mean, uh, Phantom. <laughs> we need to know. Is there a cafeteria here? Right past that building. But why? Gotta get some energy if we're gonna help you win your contest. <laughs> like my philosophy of life, Scoob. Food before Phantom. <laughs> All right, to the school eats. Shaggy, it's Fred. Have you found a way into the school yet? No, but like we found Anna. Oh, and, and like watch out for the Phantom. Hello? Oh, he's gone, Scoob! Like a phantom! Scoob, can't you like smell that cafeteria taste? Scooby-Doo. Uh, uh. I haven't even had dinner, and like I'm already being deserted.
We'll never find Anna if we have to search in the dark. Hmm. By the looks of things, that's the power shed right there. The generator should be inside. Check this out. is huge. See if you can turn it, Fred. If we get those big sports lights on, we'll be able to see a whole lot better. Hmm. Maybe I could use that device to turn them on. I could make that device work. is needed. Look, Velma! Clues! Jinkies! Look how many there are! We'll need them all to piece the clue together. but he's missing a glove on one of his. Keep an eye out for clues. When one of us finds a way into the school, we'll all meet up. Fred Jones, I remember you from when your school used to play ours. Fred Jones, the star quarterback. Your spectacular pass really stole the game away from us, son. <laughs> Sorry, sir, but thanks, sir. So you'll be at the sports carnival this weekend? This weekend? But the talent show's this weekend. <laughs> That's what Ms. Hilkin thinks. Pardon? Ms. Hilkin, the drama teacher. Well, think about it. How do they ever hope to win the talent contest if they can't even finish a dress rehearsal? Yeah, that is tough to do when there's a phantom in the house. Just as well, as far as I'm concerned. My star player is in that show. Hmm. Well, our friend's cousin's in the show, too. So we need to help him get phantom free. Well, a word of advice. Ask Miss Hilkin where she was every time the phantom appeared. Someone has a bone to pick with us. Check it out. Hey, wait for me. I could get across on that pole. Quick. <laughs> 
Super Scooby! Do I thought you were brave.
matches, the gang will be able to get into the school. <laughs> <laughs> Scoob, gotta find those clues. Clues? Right, clues. Sure, Shaggy. Oh, my God. 
twice, or even once! <laughs> like that witch didn't have a sense of humor, but she sure did bring down the house! <laughs> <laughs> you did it, kids! I may not have a castle, but a curse I can certainly do without. I can't thank you enough! We're just happy to help you, Baron Hood. It was a tricky mystery to figure out. Yeah. Who would have thought the castle had a secret gold mine underneath it? And your sister would want you gone so she could have the gold all for herself. Yeah. How did your sister do that stuff with the lightning and the magic and the getting bigger? I beg your pardon, but what sister? I don't have a sister. Yes, you do. Lady Zarni. She lives in the castle with you. Nobody lives in Keystone Castle but me and the servants. And I am an only child. But we saw Costington talk to her. Actually, Freddy, all you saw was Lady Azarni talk to Costington. I guess that's a mystery that will have to remain unsolved. Fine with me. Me too. <laughs> Excuse me, sirs and madams, the food festival, <coughs> pig out party, is served. All right! Scooby Dooby, <coughs> food! <laughs> Good job, Scooby. But what's the green ghost doing here? There's so many ghosts around here. Scooby-Doo, the green ghost isn't really a ghost. Well, well what about the Reaper and the Black Knight? Have you seen them as well? Uh-huh. Jeepers, those are all villains from our past. Scooby-Doo, something strange is definitely going on here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Grab me! Who? That is a ghost! I saw it, Scooby! Ah! Right! Easy, guys. It's just me, Holly. <sighs> oh, it's Holly. Holly! Boy, am I glad to see you! Scooby and I have been seeing some pretty strange things. Hey, what's that? Oh, I found a box of my Uncle Alexander's inventions. I'm not sure why it's in here, though. He usually keeps them in his super secret lab. A secret lab? Yeah, that's where he thinks up all his crazy inventions. Maybe there's something in here we can use. Or a clue. Or a ruby snack! Solar-powered nightlight. Underwater winner's racket. Microwave-safe ice cube tray. Ray, what's with this umbrella? That's actually one of my uncle's more useful inventions. <laughs> Raphne? Raleigh? Anybody? Here we go again! Ready! See if you can get me down, Scoob! Thanks, Scooby! I think the Mastermind's behind this mystery. Have you seen the others? Well, but I lost them. Maybe if we look around, we can find some clues that will lead us right to them. 
and to the professor. <laughs> hey. I've had a belly full of your meddling. It's high past time I did away with you once and for all. I think you'll remember this old adversary of yours. He certainly remembers you. Ah! <laughs> Scooby, what's happening? It's the roast of Redbeard. Ah, summery timbers. <laughs> I think your old foe has a score to settle with you. <laughs> Thanks, Scoob. The mastermind really had us over a barrel that time. Well, you ran under one. <laughs> we caught the ghost of Redbeard on that freighter years ago. I wonder what he's doing here. Creeper's chasing me! Thelma, wait a second! There's something on your glasses! The Creeper times two! Now this is a clue! And clues like this just don't fall into your lap by accident! <laughs> <laughs> we should go find Daphne and Holly and put all our clues together. And find that mastermind. Find the secret lab. A secret lab? Who told you about a secret lab, Scooby? Ronnie did, before she wish appeared with Daphne. Come on, you two. You're coming with us. <laughs> get, get there, Scoob. Fred wants us to stop our smorgasbord. <laughs> oh. Okay, guys. If you want to stay in this creepy cove all alone. Ah, uh, Reddy and I got rid of the roasts. So, lots of goodies and no ghosts? Sounds better than a secret lab, huh, Scoob? Yep, a roast-free room. <laughs> all right, then. We'll catch up with you later. You big chickens. Mm -mm -mm. Big, big chickens. chickens. <laughs> What's this? Professor Graham's Tricky Sticky Gum Doohickey. What do you say, Scoob? Want to give it a try? Okay, rhyme game. It says here, this stuff will stick creeps in place so you can bounce off their heads. <laughs> the Roast Driver! Yeah, like the Ghost Diver. Ro! The Roast Driver! <laughs> like, let's get out of here, Scoob! <laughs> Scoop, that vat is filled with acid. Acid? Come on, Scooby, you can do it. We're almost at the end of this mystery. And I've got a plan. Okay, where I come. Ooh. Ew. Good job, Scooby. But why would anybody need this much acid anyway? The acid in those vats is used for etching. It was used to make those funky lenses that were in my glasses. This must be part of the professor's top secret invention. Jinkies! And now I know just what it is. The professor was making super real holograms. Like what on earth is a hologram? Holograms are images made out of solid light, Shaggy. Like the creeper from my glasses. Like, wow! So that's where all the monsters have been coming from! Jeepers! Really? Where's no roasts? That's right, Scooby. No ghosts. Now listen up, gang. I've got a plan. But Scooby's gonna need to keep the mastermind distracted for it to work. Me? 
And that will buy us all the time we need to turn the tables on old Fright Face. Yeah, and then he'll face the fright. Ready, Scoob? Uh-uh. I'm not going anywhere. Well, would you do it for a Scooby snack? Uh-uh. How about a whole box of Scooby snacks? Okay. Well, I'm ready. <laughs> Ah, yes! Soon it will all be mine. My brilliant plan is working perfectly. All that remains is... What? Impossible! How did you, a worthless cur, make it this far? I don't know. Well, your luck ends here. As well as all nine of your lives. I think that's cats. I'm not a cat. Scooby, like isn't this groovy? We're the stars of our very own video game. Oh, yeah, uh, groovy. Like what's going on? I've spread my evil virus all over this game. You'll never get past the monsters I've unleashed. Rikes, monsters! I'm with you, Scoob. Like, let's get out of here. <sighs> You can run, but you'll never escape. This is my game now. I say we make like a tree and leave. Hey guys, are you alright? You, you look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> that thing wasn't a ghost! Uh -uh. Hmm, that's strange. My handheld wireless communication system is going berserk. It's like it's been zapped by some sort of virus. I don't like the sound of that. Well, Rylus. Like, that's it? That scary thing told Scoob and me that it was spreading a virus all over our game? Hmm, let me see that, Delma. Seems like it's working again. There's a message in your inbox, Velma. I challenge you to play this game. You'll lose it every time. The phantom virus always wins. Success, it will be mine. Jinkies! A phantom virus! Sounds like a job for Mystery Inc. But how are we going to capture the phantom virus, Fred? By splitting up. Daphne, you and I will go look for a trap. Velma, you stay here and try to determine the exact location of this phantom virus. Scooby, Shaggy, you guys go into the game itself. If you find the virus, get it to follow you back here so we can catch him. Hey, where are you guys going? Who? Us? Who? Uh, us? Come on, guys. We can't do this without your help. <laughs> like, sure you can. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? No way! No way! Would you do it for two Scooby snacks? Uh-uh! Uh-uh! Well, would you do it for a whole box of Scooby Snacks? Velma, old pal, you got yourself a deal. Yeah, yum, yum. Here, take this with you. We can use it to talk to one another. It looks like some of the levels are locked. The only door that's open leads to Japan. You guys can start there. I'll try to get the other doors to open. Oh, this must be a one-player game. How retro. You guys will just have to take turns. Come on, Daphne. Let's go find that trap. Good luck, everyone. It's a 
Salty Sea Air Scoob, you know what that means, buddy. Yeah. Seafood, <laughs> fried clams, runa fish, cracked crabs, runa salad, jumbo shrimp, runa sushi. <laughs> All right, you two, don't forget the real reason we're here. The lobster bisque? <laughs> no, silly, we're here to solve a mystery. Aww. Aww. My friend Holly says there's strange goings on up here at her family home, Mystic Manor. And she could really use our help. Look, there she is now! Hey, Holly! Hey, Daphne! I'm so glad you could make it. And you must be Freddy, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby Doo. Wow, the whole gang! I've heard so much about you. Daphne's kept me up to date on all of your cases, so I figured my mystery would be right up your alley. Really? And what mystery is that? It's my uncle, the famous inventor, Professor Alexander Graham. He was just about to unveil some new top-secret invention when he disappeared without a trace. No one saw him leave Mystic Manor, and no one will help me search the premises. Don't tell me. 